Hello guys, Miss Cat here. In this video, I want to address um, another question we had during our peace education series about human development. And when we talk about our young children during the ages of zero to six, they're in that absorbent mind. They're just learning and absorbing everything around them, their environments, the people, uh, the interactions, everything. They're just absorbing it all in. And so we discuss their needs and what they need at this stage. They need so much order. They need concrete experiences. Um, and some families were wondering, well, how do you provide that? What are concrete experiences and the struggles of uh, some of our families when, you know, the children have been at school all day and they're doing practical life and, you know, so many concrete activities and then they get home and they're just kind of wild. Um, and so I wanted to touch on that a little bit. It is natural, of course, when they get home, they're going to kind of let loose and need some physical activity being outside. Um, while it's important for them to run around, um, you know, hopefully having an activity that guides their movement is helpful. Um, where the brain is giving instructions to the body, that helps the child integrate. So maybe a soccer ball and a goalie and so they need to get that soccer and that ball kick that ball into the goalie or let's see can you go jump on the trampoline 10 times and do a flip things like that giving them challenges where they are going to integrate their mind and their body will help them rather than just running around <laughs> although they might need to run around a little bit but if you can give a little bit more structure and purpose to their movement that helps them and that's the purpose of concrete experiences too so what we mean by concrete is like their physical um, you can feel them, you can touch them, you can taste them. They're things that the children can interact with with their senses because at this stage from zero to six, they're concrete learners. They learn through their senses. So every opportunity and experience we give our children needs to um, be given through the hands and through the senses rather than uh, only visual or only orally, or, you know, orally or for them to hear it. They need to experience, they need to experience their environment because that's how they absorb it is through their senses through manipulation through touch through movement with their body so the most natural way to provide concrete experiences at home is just to allow them to participate in the daily jobs of the house in the cleaning and the cooking and preparing eat their amazing toys now and blocks puzzles balls uh gardening things that you can incorporate into your daily routine into your environment where the children uh, have things that they can manipulate with their hands that they can explore with that will provide for those needs that will provide for order that will provide for repetition for exploration for orientation so thinking about those when you buy a toy or you put out an, a, an experience and an activity for your children think about those needs that they have will it meet those needs and how can I encourage repetition with this activity will this activity allow my child to repeat over and over again because the more repetition the more engaged to become and the more um, that their mind and their body are working together and so you get more integration and flow and that's beautiful because that's when we're serving our children when they go into that flow flow it means that they are having a need met so um concrete experiences again can be any type of cleaning it can be a game that they're doing and it can be just participating in daily life of what you do as a family together laundry dishes cleaning the table uh, fold uh, you know anything folding napkins putting the dish turning the dishwasher on anything that involves a child's entire body and mind is a concrete experience i hope that that is helpful